27 and a video on the influenza. I haven't done one for a while. I've been on holiday and the influenza has been to QV in London. They did a few bits. Uh, I will tell you about that in the car. And then it went straight to Ryan Edwards at Reef Exhaust and he had another go at making the, the, the new exhaust. He said this one definitely sounds different. So I'm, I'm really excited, but also actually slightly worried about what it sounds like because you still can't tell it. It's a process of development. Um, so he's kept the old one just in case because actually that sounded absolutely fine. Just didn't sound the way I wanted, but it was a 308 exhaust which sounded pretty good, good volume and everything. So if, if that all goes wrong and it doesn't sound particularly good, I can use that. Just waiting for the cab now and gonna be there very soon. Just got here, check out this lovely Julia. I just, I just love these. I think they're just so cool. Check out the swage line down the side there. I just, I don't know, I love these. Just look at it. It's a thing of beauty. Both the downpipes go in on the same side, so they're now not firing at each other like they were before. And this has, of course, also changed the lengths of the headers. <laughs> Can you hear a difference? Because I certainly can. And especially just off idle, it definitely sounds like a, an engine with purpose and, you know, just like something special, which is what I was after all along. It's a weird mix between a sort of uh, traditional non-flat plane V8 now off idle and just something with a bit of power and a bit of menace. So I'm really happy with that for a start. And just look at that exhaust. I think it just, it looks amazing. I love it. I know no one's gonna be able to see it, but I just love what um, Ryan's done with that. I think it's a, it's a little work of art, really. So let's take it out. At the moment, the... Um, moment the airbox is still sealed so the top isn't off it so there is going to be more to be gained when I actually do the work to the airbox as well which is coming up I'm going to do the thing that Les did before but for the moment certainly at these lower revs it sounds way way better also I've got the car back from QV and the guys did all the work replacing the bushes to the shocks. The shocks they tested, they were fine. So in the end, I just replaced the bushes themselves. They also fixed the oil leaks and did a few other bits. So now, the only place where it's leaking is where the gearbox shaft is going into the sump, which is a very minor leak and loads of them do it. So I'm quite happy to leave that as it is. It's feeling better, it's feeling a bit tauter, there's less crashing and banging, so happy with what the guys at QV did. They were gonna do the steering rack as well for me, but in the end I decided not to do that. Reason was that they didn't wanna muck around taking it apart and so on, because if you take their time into account, it's just not worth it. So it would have been a new rack for 400 pounds plus the VAT, when really all it needs is a plastic bush the mounts are also a little bit worn. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do that myself and not just that, but I am gonna change it and convert it to the quicker rack available from Super Performance. So that will, not only will it tighten it up and make it much more precise, it's a little bit vague off center now, but the car is handling much better. But it's gonna speed it up just enough. It's definitely way too low geared, that steering. Anyway, let's hear sounds so much better like at lower revs I can't tell you it's slightly louder but it's the tone let's rev it a bit and hear what it's like up further sort of 5,000, 
it still doesn't quite have that sort of um, I don't know what to call it but that sort of um, you know that, um, that, that kind of killer sound that I'm after but it is so much better everywhere else that I'm just delighted with it just when you blip it everything it just sounds like an engine which is I don't know the word for it which is interesting no which is sounds like an engine with purpose and it sounds like a special engine that's what I'm trying to say and everywhere with this exhaust it now sounds better again as I was saying at the top end it's still not quite what I would love which is screaming banshee but there's two things the exhaust sorry when I redo the carbs I think it will help the engine spin up quicker and maybe just give it a little bit more edge up top. So that's one thing. I'm going to do some work to the airbox, but also, it's such a, it's so much nicer to drive than when I first got it. I'm just blown away. I mean, from when I first received it, obviously, like uh, three months ago, all the little things that have been done to it, it's uh, so much nicer to drive. and crackle as well when you're going with this exhaust let's just let it go down a bit do an acceleration from second really strangely in this car it doesn't like rev matching in second or I can't do it right but anyway here we go let's let it drop a little bit up top it's nicer as well spitting everywhere but um yeah no it is it is nice now I'm, I'm i'm really delighted with it thanks a lot ryan really really happy it's just you know it's not the best sounding ferrari engine still but it's now feels special enough that i'm happy to drive it around and it feels like it does feel like you're in a ferrari now before oh, second gear before it was just we're just a disappointment, really. Even off throttle, and I know oh, it just sounds so much nicer. It sounds like a cultured engine. I don't know why Ferrari didn't build an exhaust more similar to this. I know they had the resources. They chose to put in that thing that just makes it sound like a, a four-cylinder dribble. So much nicer, even just pootling around. The other thing is, which I wasn't expecting at all, is that it actually it's driving better. So I think this is probably a freer flowing exhaust because it's a bit smaller, the chamber's smaller. And I think the Influenza was overall running a little bit rich and I think that uh, giving it the freer flowing exhaust has actually helped. It's, it's happier to rev. I love that sound. This is just, I'm really happy with this. This is just great. Just great. I've got, um, I'm going to sort out the sill. So I went to see Andy. Who's, uh, he's not commercial, but he does, you know, he's done a few of these and he's going to replace the sill. I'm not going to get the whole car repainted because it's just not worth doing at this point in time. It's too much of an investment and he said he can do it and it will be fine. And he's going to touch up a couple of the other places where there's a bit of bubbling, but I'm not going to go for a full repaint. And I am just really happy with it. It's running so well and it's just the engine feels so nice now. Really sorry to be repetitive, but just feels so nice now that the tone of the exhaust is better oh does feel like I'm driving a Ferrari for the first time to be honest because before the way the engine sounded it just it wasn't right it wasn't Ferrari now it is well 
I don't know, with a bit more experimenting and changing the lengths or whatever, it's possible Ryan may be able to make it sound even better up top. But I've got to say, I'm happy with it now. You know, it sounds special and I'm good with it the way it is. It's a really enjoyable drive. So much nicer. Oh, I forgot to say, very important. And that's part of the reason why I think it's driving nicer. I got QV to increase the camber as much as they could. It wasn't a lot because of the limits of whatever's there, but um, they put in another shim. So it's got a little bit more negative camber at the front. And I think, maybe I'm imagining it, but I was just thinking now how much nicer it's turning in and everything. And I think it's due to that. And one of the reasons why I wanted to do that is that I noticed in the official literature that the GTB, i.e. the coupe, actually runs a bit more negative camber as standard. The GTSs, I guess, because they're more like, they envisaged they were more like touring cars, they run a bit less negative camber. And I think that's made a real difference. I just love throwing it down that road and I haven't before because that's quite a tight, tight corners. So normally it didn't suit it and now it does. So now really for the last time, thank you all so much for watching. Please do subscribe and um, thank you all so much and see you for the next video. I'm doing, I'm gonna be doing the carbs. I'm gonna be doing the steering rack. So still plenty to do, but by then, and when I've got the sill sorted, the Influenza is going to be a really nice car. I'm just so pleased.